Well, Notion has just released a new feature that is not very Notion-y. They call it Home, and it's supposed to be that, to be your home inside of the app. It will show you the main information that Notion thinks you want to see. And well, if you feel my sarcasm, you and me are gonna get on well in real life. So well, let's see if this feature is going to revolutionize how we're gonna be using the app from now on, or if it's just a big flop. Let's get into it. So today we are gonna cover what this new feature is, how we can set it up, and then most importantly, how we can apply it to real life scenarios. So well, this is what Notion thinks we want our home to look like. And by the way, as I'm recording this, some of you may not have access to this feature yet. It's being rolled out first to teams and then to individuals. I mean, this is mostly a multiplayer feature. So if you don't have access to it, you just have to wait some weeks and you will get it, don't worry. So what is this feature trying to solve? Why does it exist? Well, in Notion before there was a limitation in which if you want to see all your tasks in one view, all those tasks should live inside of the same database. And if you're working with a team, this means that all your team is gonna have access to all your tasks. So for example, if you wanna have personal tasks and professional tasks, you will need two different databases and two different views. So there was no way to have everything being shown at you in one and only place. And here is where home comes into place. Let's see what we get. So on the very top, we have good morning or good evening, good whatever, and your name. You can edit this. So if you wanna be called in a different way at night, then up to you. Then on the very top, all our recently visited pages. This is kinda handy. Then here, my tasks, which is going to allow us to aggregate tasks from multiple databases. Later, we are gonna see why. We're gonna be spending most of the video talking about how to set up this area. Then below, we have this featured templates area and here the learn section. I mean, this is kind of good if you're just starting to use Notion, but honestly, to me, this is not very helpful. So I would like to get rid of it. How? You have two ways here you can hide from home here the same or you can come here to the three dots show and hide widgets and you can actually show and hide whatever you want so in my case i'm just gonna hide learn and feature templates so i'm just gonna stay with these two different views now if you have multiple people inside of your workspace then you're gonna see an extra thing here below you're gonna be able to see the suggested for you and the trending pages here you will be able to see all the different team spaces so you can see which pages are being viewed more often. And suggested by you, I honestly don't know what's going on and why showing all these pages, probably because I've recently visited them. I honestly don't know. Okay, so going back to here, let's talk about how this My Tasks area really works. Well, when you first start using Home, this will be empty because what you need is to come to whatever database. For example, I have created these two different tasks database and you will have to go here to the three dots and turn the database as a task database. I can undo this, for example, and now we have what I was talking about, turn into task database. So you will just have to come here and this pop-up is going to appear. For a database to be considered a tasks database, we need to have these three properties, a status property, an assignee property, and a due date property. If you don't have them, you can always create a new one. And Notion is gonna create a new one for you. Here, the same, okay? If we have the three of them, we will just turn it into a task database. And I have done this for both of these databases. So this is gonna be my personal tasks, and this is gonna be my company's tasks. Now, if we go to home, we're gonna see these tasks over here. Later in the video, I'm gonna explain why, what is this client X and client Y. So here we are able to see all our personal and our business tasks. And, and we can also see here, which is the source, AKA the database that, that's holding really these tasks. So now we can play with this view, like we will do with any normal view, almost. Here we have the option to filter as we can do everywhere, but, and this is a very big but, if we click here on add filter, it's like, okay, where are all the rest of my properties? They are not here. So if any of these task database have more properties like a formula or I don't know, 
a rollup, another select property, whatever, that is not part of the other databases, it is not going to show here. In fact, even if it's part of the other databases, it's also not going to show here. You're just going to be able to filter by this. That is it. So this is the first limitation that I'm encountering in this new feature. Luckily, we can add advanced filters. But well, since this view is quite simple, I'm, I'm not going to need it because the purpose of this view is just to show what I need to get done, taking the information from everywhere in the workspace. I can also sort i always sort due ascending but also i can change the layout of this so if i don't want table view i can create a board view and i can group it by status and select identity groups color columns and then i will have my task management over here or i could even show it as a calendar and i wanted to show you this because at the moment of this version of the feature this is kind of silly because i cannot see my whole calendar at once because this view cannot get any bigger so this view is utterly useless so yeah probably this in version 2.0 of this feature i hope it is fixed so my preference will be for this view to go back to the table and to group it by source exactly now for example if i go to systemify tasks and i turn this into a project property this can be a select to make it easy. And we have here project one. Let's undo this one so it appears in our home. So if we go back to home, it is this task over here. So I would like to see that this task is part of project one. So I will go here, go to properties. Shit, I cannot do it. Again, this is another limitation. We not only cannot filter by other properties, we also cannot show properties that don't exist in the other databases. So if I have here the task create invoice, I will not know for which project I have to create the invoice. I will have to click here and then I will be able to see that this is for project one. Again, another limitation. So, well, how do I use this? Well, personally, I don't enjoy having so many constraints. I understand what Notion is trying to solve here, but I'm a big believer of what Notion has always done, which is to give us all the tools so then we can build our own thing. This is kind of built for me and I feel too limited using it. But nonetheless, I have one recommendation. So this is a little bit more useful and three real life use cases where this is going to be very useful. So first, let me get to the recommendation. As I showed before, this view is very small. Even if I have a big screen, all this area is empty. I would love that this just continues so that I can resize this view. The only way to see this view as a, as a full view will be to come here and open it as a full page. But then this is kind of hidden. I will always have to come to the home page and go here and then I will be able to see it. So what can we do? Well, I can favorite this view over here and my tasks are going to appear here in favorites. But then I can also come back, go here to the three dots, change the default start page and then top page in sidebar. So that means that whenever I'm going to open a new tab or a new window in Notion, my task view is going to appear here, which for me is the most useful of the feature. So now a real use case, how we can use this. So, well, if you are working with clients externally and you will want to share with them, which is the actual status of the work that you are doing for them, aka your tasks, before you could not share your whole task database because your clients will have access to everything that you are doing inside of your company. So the option was to create a new database for that client and share that with them. But then the problem was yours because you will have now two places to look for tasks, your internal ones and your client ones. If you scale this to so many more clients, then this was impossible to manage. Well, now we can manage everything through the home feature. And we can even do this automatically. So we can create a button or even a database template to create a new client every time. This can be a page, client X, and inside of here, we can create their task database. And we can turn it into a task database. I'm gonna be asked about this. I just want Notion to create everything by himself. And that is it. This can be called add new client. Just gonna delete one from my testing before. So whenever I have a new client, I will just click here, rename this one. And here I will be able to have all tasks about this client. So if I add myself 
and select a, a due date. If I go to my tasks, this task is over here. So now you can imagine that we will be able to see all my client tasks grouped by client. And again, as I said before, you could create the same. If you have your clients inside of a database, you can create the same in this template. And then you will be able to share this dashboard with your client by, by making this live and they will not have access to all the other tasks. Now, another use case that we can have is if your company is a little bit big, you could have a task database per department. So for example, for departments that have very sensitive information like HR or finances, people that are working in finances and maybe in another department, they will be able to have their tasks all grouped inside of the same view, which makes work much more easy for them. And here, instead of clients, we will have departments or what I said before, if you are working inside of a company, you may have a generic task database, but maybe you want to have a place for your own tasks and to see everything in the same place. Well, home will also be able to solve that for you. Also, which improvements I wish that this feature will have in the future? Well, as I said before, to me, this view is a little bit limited. I cannot resize it, that would be improvement number one, and I cannot add anything. That is, this is very cookie cutter. I don't like how it feels. So I would love to be able to create here a linked view of a database. And if we are starting to think about this, think of this. Maybe this view could just be a block that we can place whatever we want instead of a workspace. So for example, if I go to my personal dashboard, I would love that this view that I currently have for my tasks can also aggregate or have tasks from other databases. So I can actually implement what I said about my client tasks and everything. Because here I love to have which are the clients that I'm going to have today or to have this button. So to customize it for my own experience. Another improvement that I would love if we go ahead with keeping this kind of cookie cutter view was to is to, since Notion now has Notion Calendar, maybe we could have an embed of Notion Calendar, like a workable one where we can create events and actually manage our calendar inside of here. So we don't need two apps, just saying that would be great. So well, is this a revolution or is it just a big flop? Well, I don't know. I'm a little bit in the middle. I was very excited when I saw what this could do, but then when I understand which are the limitations, I was kind of like, hmm, didn't really love it. So I think it's a good step in the right direction. We really do need to be able to have one view displaying data from multiple databases, but was this the right way to do it? Hmm, I don't know. What do you think? Do you like it? You don't? Maybe you can find some cooler use cases where those limitations that I've been talking about don't really matter. Tell me in the comments of this video. I would love, I'm always learning from you guys. And if you're interested to see how Notion can be used for running your company, I have a playlist with my top 15 videos that you can find over here. So you will get up to speed in no time. That is it for the video guys. And as always, see you in the video.